Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf. And I went back to the bins, the Goody Wheel bins, for another epic vintage toy hunt adventure. So on my first trip to the bins, I found a vintage Star Wars Y-Wing vehicle and kind of caught the bins bug in more ways than one. I actually got sick after my first trip to the bins. And then I went back in this episode to the bins and I got sick again after going there a second time. So I caught more than just the vintage bug, you know what I'm saying? But hey, I got an awesome episode for you guys today. I'm excited to dive into it and show you exactly what I found because I found some more vintage toys, baby. Oh yeah, so if you're excited, I'm excited. Hit that like button and then let's roll out. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? So we're gonna hit up the store first, and then we're gonna go check out the bins. Let's see what they got. All right, let's see. We got a pirate ship down here. But that's it on these shelves. Let's go check the other side. Well, here's a SpongeBob lunchbox. That's kind of fun. A Tonka, I think that's like an RC car. Check out that bad boy. Dang. That's cool. All kinds of trucks here today. But other than that, I'm not seeing anything. Let's go check these baggies out and see if we can find something in here. Man, there are all kinds of bags of dinos here today. Hey, look at this Asian guy holding a computer monitor. Looks like we got a flash in there, like a bendy fig. And then Kofi, some sort of wrestling figure. Let's check these guys out. We got a Cowboys and Steelers gnome. All right, gang, since we got bust in there, let's go check out the bins. That's interesting. Oh, it's like a, it's like a koozie. Some license plates here. E50 CMV. Oh, that's two of the same license plate, huh? like an old dino. The remains of an action figure hand, <laughs> an arm. Okay, there's a Burger King Furby with like a turd attached to its head or something. There's a Teletubby. We've got a ghost Pez dispenser. Oh, that would make for like a cool TMNT diorama thing. It says Playmates 1999. I don't know, maybe it is some sort of TMNT thing. There's a elephant hand puppet, a harmonica, a little boat. What the heck is that thing? It's kind of crazy looking. Got Marvin the Martian. Oh, some sort of bat. Kind of almost reminds me of a real Ghostbusters ghost, but I don't think it is. Oh, we got a uh, Fisher Price, vintage Fisher Price castle place at night. Oh, that's awesome, man. 
totally get that. Oh wow. We got a vintage flush smurf. Oh, we got a cabbage patch kid. Too bad this wasn't busted up like this. That's kind of a cool piece. He actually opens up and there's a skeleton inside. Look at that. It's gotta be something I can flip. I think I'll pick that up too. Check out this Santa Glow mold. There's actually a bunch of them over here. Nice. Dang, look how old this thing is. It says toy cart on it. I opened it up though. The bottom's missing on it, but that is pretty nice. Ah, check it out. I just found a Batman. Oh, check it out. It's Speedy Gonzalez. Man, how cool was that toy box? That thing was awesome. I absolutely loved it. Too bad it was missing the bottom part of it. I guess it, I could have maybe gotten it and hammered some boards on the bottom of it, but your boy's not much of a handyman, so I probably would have screwed it up. So I just left it behind, but I did pick up some things. Let's do a little show and tell. First up, check out the plush Smurf that I found just sitting there in the Goody Wheel bins. Now he's got a little dirt on him, so he's gonna need a little cleaning up, that's for sure. But this is officially the biggest Smurf in my plush collection. The other Smurfs that you see here were all found in a thrift store. I think, except one, one of my subscribers, I think might've gifted me this one over here that has the tags on it. But the rest of these guys were found at Plaza Thrift, AKA Crappy Sam's, Craptastic Sam's. So I got this little baby Smurf over here. Well, I don't know if he's not really a baby. He's just a small Smurf. And then I've got a Smurfette and then this dude. And then of course this guy over here. So I'm excited to be adding the Smurf, this large Smurf to the collection. I love the Smurfs. I'll never forget the first time I realized that the Smurfs were on Saturday morning. I remember I woke up, got a bowl of cereal. It was seven o'clock in the morning. I sat down, I turned on channel six and these little blue creatures appeared. And I remember being so excited that I ran back to my parents' room, practically screaming, there's a new cartoon. There's a new cartoon called the Smurfs. There's a new cartoon called the Smurfs. It was like the first time I'd ever seen these guys and uh, I'll never forget that, but I think they look awesome. All right, and here is the majority of the haul. So first up, I got these little figures. They were scattered all throughout the bins. They're called Crazy Bones. And from what I could tell, apparently it was some sort of McDonald's toy but what's kind of crazy about them is that some of them are selling for anywhere from five to like $15 for a single crazy bone. And then I've seen like lots of like six or seven sell for like $40. Now, I don't know if I have any of the ones that are in those bigger lots, you know, the lots that go for bigger money, but I thought they were pretty neat. So when I saw them, I was just like, yeah, I got to get those, man. So I scavenge through those bins until I felt like I got all of them out. I even went back through the bin like three or four different times to make sure I didn't miss anything. Although I probably did miss something, but I thought these things were pretty neat. Next up, I got uh, this thing. I have no idea what that goes to guys. Like it actually opens up. It kind of reminds me, let's get Sherman out of the way here. It kind of reminds me of like a, uh, like a Mighty Max type of little thing, but it's not, it's a, at least I don't think it is. Um, it doesn't, you know, Mighty Max, when you open it up, it's got like a little play set inside. This thing doesn't really have that, but it kind of reminds me of that. So maybe you guys can help me out and let me know exactly what that's from. Now, I also picked up this TMNT diorama thing. Uh, so the figure itself is just one that was in my collection. So I didn't find him at the bins. Let's move these things out of the way. Got this little weapon. I don't know who the weapon goes to. Maybe you guys can let me know. But um, you know, anytime I find something small like that, it's worth picking up because you never know. Sometimes these little weapons can go for as much as whatever figure they actually go to. So I picked him up, but check this out. It's from 1999. It's made by Playmates. And I'm assuming it's some sort of TMNT like diorama piece. Not 100%. Again, maybe you guys can help me out. 
I picked up this 1994 Mothra, which if I remember, I think it's selling for like $20 just by itself. I also got a couple of vintage dinos. I got this little wind up guy with the chattering teeth. I picked up a spider. I even got me like a little Hot Wheels matchbox type of car. And then we got this awesome tank. I haven't looked it up to see if it's worth anything, but it is made out of die cast and it's pretty freaking cool. And then I got like these little things. Um, these are called uh, Bible Memory Buddies. And uh, I found a bunch of these in a thrift store loose a while back, but these ones are actually in, in their bags. So I picked them up, just kind of neat. And then we got this Batman. I have no idea who that chick is. So maybe you guys can help me out with that as well. And then um, also got this little like albino fly, I guess, and picked up this little turtle to go, to go with my turtles. So there you go. Now they got like a little pet. And then I picked up the Santa blow molds. They're selling for about $10 each on eBay. So I picked those up and figured I could flip them. I'll probably keep one and maybe flip the other two. And then I got this awesome mask, which is also selling for about $20 on eBay. Super, super cool. Definitely gonna need some washing. I would not put this over my head after it being in the bins the way it's been, you know? Like, I don't need any more Goody Wheel gunk in my life. But uh, overall, guys, here's the crazy thing. This entire haul, I think they charge like $2 a pound or something at the bins. I got everything for like $5.34. So I got some significant value here. And the last thing I got, which really wasn't by choice, it was just that as I was finding stuff, I needed a bag to put it in because, you know, I'm a rookie and uh, <laughs> I don't uh, I don't understand. Someone's got to school me on how to approach the bins, but I'm learning very quickly that you need a bag when you go in there or a cart, most of the carts end up getting taken. So as I was scavenging through the bins, I found this bag and I was like, oh, I can put all my crap in it. So I ended up getting this Girl Scouts bag as well. I had everything in there when I went to the weigh-in station. I just put the whole bag down, paid for everything and walked out. So I did get this, which I'll probably end up trying to flip on eBay. Not too shabby, right? I got some fun stuff, man. The Smurf is like awesome. I freaking love it. You know, I've got my whole collection of plush Smurfs. Every single one of them have been found in a thrift store. So excited to be adding that to the collection along with some other things. So, but hey, you know, there's another uh, thrift store around the corner from this place that I've never been to before. It's called Thrift Mart. Never been there. So let's go check it out. Some weird titles. Jim Henson's Secret Life of Toys. Kind of has like a Muppet Babies feel to it with like the nursery and whatnot. And then we got this Dr. Kaboom and Dr. Kabang. And check these dudes out on the back. I gotta get this just to see what this is all about. It's called Why Things Float. Probably gonna pick these titles up too. It's uh Hosted and I think maybe narrated by Charlton Heston. We got Samson and Delilah, the Apostles, and then Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, wow, check out this Noah's Ark. That thing is cool. Well, not a whole lot going on at Thrift Mart. Uh, probably a store I'll hit up maybe every now and then, but don't plan on making trips there all that often. I did uh, get some VHS, so I got this Secret Life of Toys with Jim Henson. thought that was an interesting title. Never heard of it or seen it before. Got the uh, greatest heroes and legends of the Bible, Samson and Delilah. And then uh, kind of excited to check this one out. Uh, Dr. Kaboom and Dr. Kabang. Have you guys ever heard of these dudes? <laughs> they look kind of crazy. Uh, I've never heard of this show. So like I said, excited to check it out and see what it's all about. All right, guys, let's go hit up another thrift store. Look at here, the strawberry shortcake. Can I open that up? Let's see here. Oh yeah, man, it's missing a lot of stuff, but it's from 1980. I almost have to get it just to save it, you know? Save it from the evil clutches of the thrift store. 
Got a couple more titles I'm gonna pick up. The Net and Dudley do right Well, I was seriously considering getting the Strawberry Shortcake little strawberry shop or whatever it was, the bakery or something. But, uh, you know, it was in rough condition. It did have a crack in it. It was missing a ton of pieces. And I looked it up on eBay and you can buy it brand new with like almost all the parts almost complete for like 18 to 20 dollars so i didn't really want to spend like two three bucks on something and then have to piece it all out you know it ended up costing a whole hell of a lot more than what you can buy it for almost complete but i did get a dudley do right i got that and i got the net i haven't seen this movie in a really long time so i picked up those two vhs all right guys up next we're gonna head off to the goodie wheel and see what kind of goodies they got well here we go gang another goodie wheel <laughs> right there right there it is what you got for me today goodie wheel what you got for me today Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. All right, let's see. Anything new from last time? Well, this buzz is still here. We got some rescue. Rescue. We got some rescue. We got some rescue heroes. Now check out this dude. He's got a little gimmick. I don't know who that is. That's a big old truck. And we got a Sentinel-1 tank. I used to have this at one point in time. And we got a box here for $16. All these football and basketball cards and stuff. I have no idea if any of those are worth any money or not. Look at all these Scooby. Scooby and the Cyber Chase. Scooby goes Hollywood. Scooby, Sco Scooby. <laughs> Scooby and the Alien Invaders. Scooby... What's new, Scooby-Doo, Scooby's Greatest Mysteries, lots of Scooby-Doo. They're all like five bucks though, man. Like, so if you wanted all these, it'd be five, 10, 15, 20, 20, 25 bucks for like five VHS. Busted, busted at the Goody Will, especially this Goody Will, you know? Like I've said a million times, I get busted at this one quite often. They had a lot of VHS, but at $5 a VHS, I'm just not, really willing to pay that i mean i do pay that sometimes if i find a title that like i really really want but uh i'm trying to stick to the 99 cent a dollar 99 stuff so all right up next we're gonna go hit up texas thrift big texas thrift and see if we can find some goodies over there well, who remembers the uh bob newhart show what is this like a holiday special yeah it's a christmas special edition We've got the Three Stooges, the animated versions. That's cool. Okay, let's see. Is there anything here on the shelves? It doesn't look like it, man. There's nothing but junk on these shelves. Holy cow. This football helmet's kind of cool, but nothing I want. How about on this side? It's big techs. All right, let's go check the bags. Oh, here's some sort of grenade. That Spider Man's cool, man. He's like punk. I like it. And is he one of those guys from How to Train Your Dragon? Oh, there's a Venom. That's a cool Venom, right? And then there's a Mandalorian in there, too. Well,. I ended up with a little haul from Big Texas Thrift. So let's do a little show and tell. So this is my haul from Texas Thrift. I ended up picking up a few VHS. I got the New Heart Christmas Special. I got Greatest Heroes and Legends of the Bible, the Apostles, I picked that up. At least I think I got that there. I might've gotten it at Thrift Mart. Anyway, it's it's in this show and tell. But I uh, ended up getting the Three Stooges, the animated cartoon. I got Car Wash. And then I also picked this up. It's got Davy Crockett on it, but it also has the 15th anniversary of the Comedy Store. So I figured there'd be some, you know, comedians on there. Uh, maybe some people that ended up making it big that got their start at the Comedy Store. So anyway, I picked it up. Thought that'd be kind of a fun VHS to check out. I ended up getting this punk Spider-Man, which I absolutely love. He is freaking awesome. I just 
love everything about it. It is so cool looking. It'll look, it's gonna look great with the rest of my Spider-Man collection. And then I got this vintage Pinocchio from 1964 is what he's from. Uh, that's, yeah, so he's he's an oldie. He's an oldie, but a good. So it'd make him like, what, like 60 years old already? Looks pretty good for 60. Still looks like a boy. <laughs> so, but yeah, this was my haul from Big Texas Thrift. Well, hey guys, that's all I got for you in today's episode. I hope you had fun. If you did, do me a favor, smash the like button. And if you want to watch more videos just like this, then check out this next video.